My name is Erica Goodwin. I grew up here in Stockton, California, born and raised. During my first pregnancy, everything went okay for the pregnancy part. I was induced because I had low amniotic fluid towards the end of the pregnancy. My second pregnancy was also a good pregnancy all the way up until the end. So when I went into labor, everything was fine. But once I got to the hospital, the baby's heart rate started dropping every time I would have a contraction. So we didn't know it at the time, but his umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck. At one point he lost complete, his heart rate dropped completely. So we, I was rushed in for an emergency C-section. I don't know so much that if my doctor hadn't have came in when she did before she was leaving, cause she was just coming back in to say bye and go out. I don't know if it would have been caught as soon if she was gone. I don't know if the nurses would have came in because it was kind of a pause like, oh, sorry, we didn't know if her monitor had fallen off or what. We didn't. They didn't react to it as fast as she did. So I'm not sure if it would have been the same outcome had she not did that. I did not know that black moms die at a higher rate from pregnancy. I was definitely shocked by that. During my pregnancy, the one thing I wish I knew about was how to get more assistance while pregnant for like your emotional well-being. Sometimes you don't realize your hormones are changing so fast in pregnancy. And that is one thing I, I wish there was more of. You get the physical, you know, the checkups and the ultrasounds and they're making sure the baby's okay. And But uh, more help with the mother mentally and their mental state. I was provided with information on breastfeeding and postpartum support while at the hospital and the delivery after, you know, after the baby, they come by and they give you all the information, you know, try to help you out with breastfeeding and things. But I don't feel like I knew anything before and or like previous to giving birth. To improve the support for black moms and babies, I think the community should offer more programs or more information on programs before you're even pregnant before you even everybody should know about when you do get pregnant this is what you know programs and such things that are there to, offered for you i encourage all moms to reach out to the black infant health program and sista coach for all their needs and information on pregnancy